Hey guys, Zane here with another one take review, and today I want to talk about the new Vince Staples album, Ramona Park Broke My Heart. Ramona Park Broke My Heart is the latest album from rapper Vince Staples, who has had a very iffy career, I can say that much. For every Big Fish theory that he's done, he's done one or two other projects, be them EPs, singles, collaborations, other albums that have just been mediocre at best. As such, I was kind of excited to see where Ramona Park Broke My Heart landed on the Vince Staples scale. Generally speaking, the beats found on this album, they're, they're pretty strong, I guess. They're nothing special, frankly, and some of the more trap-based songs I could definitely go without. They're kind of few and far between, but they're there nonetheless. I feel like trap in general is a style at this point that has been so relentlessly shoved down the collective musical consciences throat that I could just not hear it for at least another year and I would be perfectly okay. Some of the more hyphy influenced beats and more just hyphy influenced sounds are very interesting and kind of nice to hear just because they're unique, they're not trap, they're not the overdone cliches of trap even if they are cliches in their own way. And you know what, it's been a minute since the last good hyphy project or the last hyped up hyphy project anyway, so Overall, the beats here are pretty fine. They're nothing spectacular, but they're not disastrous either. The sampling here is pretty strong throughout, too. It's actually maybe the strongest aspect about the album. The sampling choices here take a lot of the songs that are more based around emotional openness and really further help develop that style and that emotional openness and vulnerability. This especially rings true for songs like When Sparks Fly and Play Your Way. A lot of these samples are choices cut from old school soul and R&B, which obviously is a very, you know, romantic time period for the genre about a lot of uh, things that I'm not allowed to talk about on YouTube or else I get to monetize, which I'm not even monetized, so that'll be impressive. But my point is that there's a lot of sample choices here that are very solid. The old school soul tinge samples really do help drive home the more emotionally raw themes here, which, again, they're kind of mixed in with a handful of less emotionally raw themes, to say the least, kind of leaning into a lot of cliches that a lot of people associate with mainstream hip-hop at the moment. But when Vince Staples gets down to it and really starts talking heart-to-heart -heart with the listener, the samples are what really help boost it to the next level. Now what I think is truly interesting about Ramona Park Broke My Heart is that it manages to be simultaneously some of Vince's best music and his worst music so far. It's actually kind of incredible. The opening track, The Beach, if you just heard that and nothing else, you would probably assume it is the weakest album Vince has done so far and it's maybe his most stiff performance so far. I mean, on that opening track, he sounds utterly lifeless. If you just hop around the track list and don't listen to it front to back and you land on a song like Paper Cuts, God Forbid, then you're probably just going to walk away thinking that exact same thing. However, songs like Magic with Mustard have the reverse sentiment. If you hear those songs and nothing else, you might assume this is one of Vince's better projects and that it really helps show off his personality and his solid and simple but pretty consistent flow. In reality, Ramona Park Broke My Heart does neither. It has a small handful of good to great songs and a small handful of mediocre to bad songs. There's nothing particularly anything about this album. However, that chopping up of quality obviously makes for something very inconsistent and basically musical whiplash. Even if there are some truly great moments peppered about, there's still just too many really truly terrible songs mixed in with those good to great songs that I feel like I'm listening to almost two separate EPs that got smashed together into one, but they were just of two different artists of two totally different sets of skills and levels of quality that just feels like too much bouncing around to make for a cohesive listening experience. If anything, it actually makes for a very awkward listening experience that really results in the album just being better off with its Best songs cherry-picked, and by best songs I mean almost exclusively when sparks fly because that song is absolutely amazing, and then everything else here is generally good to absolutely horrific, so just listen to when sparks fly if you really feel the need to just pick one song off the album. Overall, Ramona Park broke my heart. It's an inconsistent mess, but you know what? It's not a horrible Vince Staples album. It may not be anywhere as good as an album like Big Fish Theory, but it's nowhere near as bad as his self-titled album from last year, so 
that's a plus really and like I said at the beginning of this video there's sort of almost a a measurement you can do for Vince Staples he's either really good or really bad and Ramona Park Broke My Heart sits in a very nice and awkward but fairly comfortable middle it's not a difficult album to listen to you can easily put it on as background music but there's only a couple songs you need to hear which is why I'm going to give it three stars out of five it's not even that it's a decent album per se it's just that it could have been a lot worse and there are a couple of great songs on the album so three stars out of five I wouldn't I'd just go listen to Big Fish Theory honestly man just that's the only Vince Staples you need for the most part so yeah three stars and with that being said that's the end of this review and I'll see you guys in the next one